Manchester United then take on Southampton at Old Trafford Saturday, three o'clock kickoff. The last time we played Southampton, beat him 3-2 away. Martial announcing himself with two goals uh, in that away game. Defensively, we were pretty awful. And going into this game, we're still defensively awful. Uh, but we're toothless in attack. Certainly a lot of games lately, apart from that Newcastle game. Now, going into this game, obviously, we're going in on the back of that 1-0 scraped victory against Liverpool. Smash and grab victory, uh, which we didn't deserve to win. Now, we haven't deserved to really get many points lately at all, which is what we've, what we've actually got. I mean, last season we were picking up points when we didn't really deserve to be picking up points and stuff, and even early on in the season, which has really saved Louis van Gaal's job. And again in the week, that was another one of them. Uh, the week last weekend was again one of them victories, to be honest. Uh, a lot's got to change at Manchester United, but going into this game, I don't see a lot changing, to be honest. I think it's going to be pretty much the same, same old, same old from Manchester United. I mean, we could see a game against like against Newcastle, but personally, they're few and far between. They're exciting end-to-end -end football matches, and when we do get them, we're we're not very good at the back, as it's shown. Playing two defensive midfielders is the reason uh, for Louis Van Gaal playing that because he doesn't trust the defence, and neither do I, to be honest. But I don't like to see two defensive midfielders at home. But I'm not sure if we're going to play how we're going to line up because I'm not sure if Michael Carrick or probably is still out injured and Bastian Schweinsteiger is probably still out injured. So it probably does look like Louis van Gaal is probably going to play the same starting lineup as he played pretty much against Liverpool. Personally, I'll definitely change, change at least one player, which is obviously, as I've said, week after week, Marouane Fellaini has got to come out of the team. I know some people are saying, well, he assisted the goal. He should have really put that in the back of the net, to be honest. Uh, he's so tall, should have headed that straight in the back of the net. It was lucky, really, that it just fell straight kindly to Wayne Rooney. He's missed sitter after sitter in previous games. And he needs to come out of the team, to be honest. But I'm, if, unless Carrick or Bastian Schweinsteiger are back, I don't really see him changing that. Now, the back four will obviously stay the same. Goalkeepers stay the same. We didn't let a goal in against Liverpool. They were actually toothless in attack. So can't talk too much there, but... Uh, moving further forward, he'll probably keep the same sort of formation. Herrera sort of in front of them. Other two, well, it's going to be Fellaini, um, probably in there alongside Schleidlin, which I'd like to see probably Bastian Schweinsteiger if he's going to play two defensive-minded players. Well, I don't know what Fellaini is. Fellaini just a shouldn't even be a footballer to be honest. But he will be alongside him, which is a shame. It's, I would put the Schmidfield or Michael. Car well, personally, I'd like to see Michael Carrick in there. I think he gives you a bit more especially at home uh, against someone that we should be on paper beating. And then we're going to have to, I don't know what's going to happen on the wings because one mat has been dropped for the last couple of games for Jesse Lingard, which he was a bit quieter against Liverpool. He had a decent game against Newcastle. Personally, I'd like to see Memphis Depay get, get some game time out there. I know he wasn't very good when he came on against Liverpool, but he, in the other previous games, he did look like he was, was trying to make things happen in them other two games against Sheffield United and against Newcastle. And we really do need to start playing him because I don't know how else he's going to... If we don't play him, he's never going to come into any, any sort of form. And we paid a lot of money for him. We should be giving him a run out. Hopefully, if he does... I wouldn't expect him to. I would expect him to be actually on the bench. But personally, I would bring him in for Jesse Lingard. Myself, I would like to obviously see Martial up front and Wayne Rooney in the number 10 role. But that's just not going to happen. He will probably play... Well, I mean, I'd, I'd still like to see Herrera keep his place in the team, but he'll probably play Herrera and then Wayne Rooney as that uh, number nine, which Martial, I think, is a bit wasted out wide. He didn't look too bad against Liverpool, had one, one or two couple of chances in the game, but didn't get a shot on target. But he's, I, I do think he will score some goals if we put him through that middle. Now, how do I see, see Southampton? Now, Southampton obviously have been up and down. You just never know what you're going to get from Southampton. You know, they beat Arsenal a few weeks ago, 4-0 at home. They've just recently won, I think, the last two games against Watford and West Brom at home, 2-0 and 3-0 respectively. But they've been really up and down. They were on a run where they were really bad. Now, obviously, they've sold a lot of players. We've got their Schneidlin and Luke Shaw. They've, they're, they're not as good as they were. Uh, certainly not last season, so I think they are there for the beating at Old Trafford. I think it's going to be a tight game, though. 
you know, I think Shane Long, he's scoring, he's been scoring some goals. He got some against Arsenal. Uh, I know Ward Prowse got his first double against West Brom last weekend, but West Brom are a bit hit and miss as well. So uh, Pella doesn't seem to have been playing every game lately. I think he has been injured, but he was a massive threat uh, to Manchester United in previous games when we played them. So we've really got to do look out for him if he does play. But I've got a feeling he might be itching for a move away from Southampton in the summer, to be honest. But earlier in the season, he was scoring some goals. So if he does come back into the team, he could be a problem. So where else? I mean, Sadio Mane could cause us some problems uh, on the if he's on the wing or in the number 10 role, wherever he plays. He can always score a goal, make something happen. A player that Manchester United have been looking at in previous uh, seasons, uh, in previous transfer windows. So he could cause us problems as well. Uh, it could be another high-scoring game, but I don't really see it being a high-scoring game. Hopefully Manchester United can get the victory. I'm actually going to put my head on the line and say we will get the victory in this game. We haven't been too clever at Old Trafford, certainly not scoring goals. I think we've actually scored more away goals than at home this season. Obviously, it's that final third. Now, I know a lot of people are saying we're, we're defensive at Old Trafford. We're not defensive at Old Trafford. And a lot of it's been that final third. We've had a lot of play, got up to the final third, and, and the final third just hasn't been good enough from Manchester United. We've not created enough chances. We've not got enough shots on target. Not got enough clear-cut chances at all in games. Now, that is not defensive football for me. We haven't sat back, parked the bus. We've had, in most games, we've had nine, probably 60%, 70% of the possession. That Liverpool game, we didn't actually have the most possession. But a lot of games we have had the most possession. We've had it all in the final third, which just cannot create enough chances in that final third. Louis van Gaal's tactics just aren't just haven't aren't good enough, and everything and uh, the forwards just aren't good enough to to create enough clear-cut chances enough for us to score goals. So it's a bit of Louis van Gaal and the forwards, to be honest. But we're not playing uh, defensive football at all. Just not clear-cut in that final third. Hopefully we will get the victory. As I said, I'm, I think 1-0 probably. I'll be happy for another 1-0. To be honest, if we could get a few, three or four 1-0s in the trot, I would be happy. Uh, and then we go on to the FA Cup game. So we've got to really win this because then we've got a few, uh, a good few days break before we play our next Premier League game against, I believe, Stoke at Old Trafford, which we've got to win as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you think of this game? How do you think it's going to go? And what sort of team lineup would you go for? And how do you see, uh, where do you see Southampton causing us any problems? Uh, subscribe if you're new, like the video, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.